r slash ask reddit by redmond detes what was the best advice you got from your therapist you are not responsible for what other people do similarly you are not responsible for how someone is going to feel meaning if i tell my girlfriend that it bothers me that she leaves the dishes unwashed she'll be mad at me and i don't want her to be mad so i'll just not say anything you are not responsible for her reaction to your honest good faith communication you need to communicate it anyway and let her feel how she's going to feel don't decide for her people with depression may quit their jobs end their marriages or move to a different place thinking that these changes will make them feel better it does not don't make any major life changes in the next three months Instead of apologizing so much, work on finding an alternative that forces you to explore why you think you need to apologize. So instead now I thank people, thank you for your patience, thank you for believing I could do this, etc. Update. I had a session since then, and we followed up on this topic. He recommend that since I'm having to stop myself and analyze why I am thanking someone, I can determine whether or not a thank you is even necessary. So instead of trying to figure out why I'm saying sorry I'm asking myself why I'm thanking people now. It's to help me learn that there are very few times where I really actually have to express thanks outside standard situations. Setting boundaries will upset the person who crosses or needs them set the most. You cannot decide how you feel, but you can decide what you do with those feelings. I will shoot mine. If you can't control it, there's no point worrying about it. Cliche I know. But we need reminders. Anxiety will never go away, but you can learn to manage it. I think the takeaway from this is to try not to get into a mindset of waiting until you're better to move forward in life. It's more like hey, this is who I am, let's figure out how to make it work. People can't make you feel anything, and you can't make them. Not your circus, not your monkeys. If you are feeling overwhelmed with things to do, write them down. It probably won't be more than 10. Take at least 15 minutes of your day every day to do something you don't want to do, but that needs to be done. Like cleaning your room, paying bills etc. It won't be as hard to begin with it if you tell yourself you can stop after 15 minutes. Oftentimes you will do more than that just because you tricked yourself into starting. And at the end of the day, you won't feel like you wasted your time because you achieved something. Just because your feelings are hurt doesn't mean you're right. I didn't listen in the moment, but I think about that almost a decade later. It's better to try and fail, than not trying at all. Stop and check the reality before making any big conclusions. Because when you have a lot of trauma you see the world through it and the reality seems worse than it actually is. No friends is better than bad friends. Sure it gets lonely, but I deserve friends who love me the way I love people. If you have to pick between lonely and hurting, lonely is better. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this one, why not like and subscribe for more? Have a nice evening.